Wow, this place is magnificent. The site itself is worth the whole trip. I have a feeling I'm going to love this school. Hello? I guess no one heard that. Gosh, there's no way I can open those doors by myself. Maybe I'll find something to help me if I look around. I'm sure she told me she'd be waiting for me by this fountain. Well, since no one is around, I guess I can check this out while I wait. What a strange device. Uh, well, at least now I can get inside. Greetings, young lady! How may I help you? Who are you? I'm Stabio, the marvelous merchant! A name you'll never forget! You won't find better prices anywhere in this town! And that's not due to the fact that I'm the only merchant around! What is your name, dear customer? My name is Lydia, sir, but I'm not a customer. Every student in this academy is a customer of the great Gustavio! I'm not a student either. In fact, it's my first day of school today. Do you happen to know where everyone is? Why is the school empty? I was hoping you could answer this question, lady! For I have had no customer since I arrived this morning! What do you mean? Well... Usually, I just have to ring the bell on my wagon, and everybody now to see the merchandise brought by Gustavio the Fantastico. But no one came to see me today, which is most unlikely. Gustavio, do you know him? Enough talking, lady! And don't you want to be Gustavio's first customer of the day? But, uh, what? First customer of the day! Get some discounts away! Uh, no thank you. I don't need anything. Of course you do! You just don't know it yet! Everyone needs something! See? I already know you will buy some of these little figurines! Huh? What exactly are they? They are pieces for an astonishing game brought from distant land to this school by your humble servant, Gustavio! So I warn you, without them, you'll never be able to play! Every single student buys at least
taste the better of these figurines each time I come. And I'm sure you will too! I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mustavio, but I spent my last coins during my trip here, and I don't have any money left. Maybe I'll buy them next time you come around? Why didn't you go into the school to try to find someone? Guests are not allowed inside the Great Academy, and they stay are accompanied by a member of the school staff. The only time I entered was when my friend, the caretaker, would help me transfer some of the goods to my wagon. Since he is not here, I cannot enter, and this is a huge problem for Gustavio. Did you say it's your first day of school today? Yes, I am an apprentice. My best friend Celeste is supposed to meet me at the entrance, but she's nowhere to be found. Ah, good! Perhaps you can help stop you solve this huge problem! How can I help you? It's my first time here. Well, since you are a candidate to become a student, you can enter the academy and find a caretaker for your old friend, Gustavio! Old friend? I've only met you today. Ah, time passes so fast when you're in good company! Am I not right? I guess you are, but I still don't know what your problem is. There are battles of Dragonville wine inside the academy! I must bring them back with me tonight or my wife will kill me! That's it? That's what you call a huge problem? Of course not! There are also crates of Dragon Bear items that I must deliver to my fellow shopkeepers in distant town! If I don't have them when I leave tonight, they can lead me to bankruptcy! It would be the end of Gustavio the Marvelous! Have you seen anyone pass by here? I am sorry, Miss Lydia, but I didn't see anyone. And I can only deduce from your question that you didn't stumble upon any of my customers. No, unfortunately not. See you later, Mustavio. Good luck to you, my customer. I'm sorry if I barged in without being invited, but there was no answer when I knocked, and... Hello? If that statue is life-size, I hope I never meet a real dragon. I wonder what these strange symbols mean. Strange noise. I knew this place couldn't be completely empty. I hope that sound was made by someone who can help me out. Sounds like someone, or something, is scratching on wood. 
I wonder who or what's in there. I... I'd better be careful. Hello? Hurry up! Get me out of here! I've had enough of this ridiculous joke! Help me! I will do anything in return! Open this door! Help me! I will do anything in return! Open this door! Who are you? My name is Zack. I'm a mighty dragon. A dragon? I don't think a dragon would fit in this small cabinet. Well, let me out and you'll see. How can I open this cabinet door? Look carefully. Is there a lock or anything unusual on or around the door? I don't see any lock, but there is a strange glowing symbol above the cabinet door. Hmm. That sounds like it's a rune. This door is probably magically sealed. Now, touch it. Don't worry, it won't hurt you. It should open the door. Get me out of here! Please! I can't open this door! It's locked! I've been locked in here for hours! If not days! It's about time someone let me out! You're not a student! Student? No, no, but, uh, my name is Zack, and... R remember I'm the one who let you out, so don't hurt me. Hurt you? Ah, uh, I see. I know the dragons can be intimidating. Dragon? You're not a dragon. You're a wolf. What do you mean, a wolf? Look at my wings and my... What? No wings? Stupid potion! I think I'll be going now. It was nice, um, meeting you. Bye-bye! Wait for me! I'll go with you! You should take the keys from the closet. They might come in handy. Well, since you are the only person I found, I guess I have no other choice. Thanks for freeing me. Uh, I, I don't know your name. My name is Lydia. I'm Zach. You don't seem to be from the academy. I'm here on my first day of school. My best friend was supposed to welcome me at the entrance, but she doesn't seem to be around. I can't wait to see her, but I haven't seen anyone since I got here. The school is just deserted. At least the areas I've already visited were empty, that's for sure. Empty? No, that's impossible. I'm sure we'll find people around the entrance hall area. Zack, you meant these keys? Yes. I don't know what they open, but I'm sure it can't hurt to bring them with us.
it's so silent. Come on! The new candidate is here! Answer us! Hello? See what I told you? That's weird. Maybe they are all in the dinner hall. Or in the studies. That's it. If you talk while you're in the studies, you will get in trouble, see? That's why no one is answering. to this book it looks like a few pages are missing hey this is my uh, Maya's book Maya was one of the students who turned me into a wolf that's why I recognized the book it looks like someone or something ripped this book apart maybe an animal but why would an animal do that why are you looking at me when you say animal I am a mighty dragon, and I have much better things to do than to tear a book apart. Hmm. I'm sorry, Zack. I just thought that if the owner of the notebook was the student who changed you into a wolf, you could have torn the pages for revenge. Well, that makes no sense, since I was locked up and couldn't have touched the notebook. Okay. Wait, I can't read this writing. Lydia, you should try this game. It's called the Minotaur Maze. So, this is the game Mustavio was talking about. Tell me more about it. You met Mustavio? He's the one who sells the game pieces. It's a game where you can win awesome magic items. A lot of the students come to play when they have some spare time. Do you know the rules? Yes. I've watched students play and it looks pretty simple. You need to move the goblin to the stairs without being caught by the minotaur. If you do that, you win what the little goblin stole from the minotaur's treasure box. Well, it'll have to wait. I need some game figurines to play and I don't have any. Ah, finally some fresh air. That's weird. There's usually a lot of students around. Zach, where are you going? I smell perfume. It might lead us to someone. I know this scent, but I don't remember from where. Lydia, look what I found. This is where the smell is coming from. This is Celeste's doll, but what is it doing here? Celeste promised me she would always keep it with her. Who is Celeste? Lydia? Lydia? Answer me! Lydia? Celeste, do you really have to go? Yes, I have to. My dad is a school director now, and we must go live at the academy. Does it mean we can't be best friends anymore? No. You will always be my best friend, Lydia. Look, I found this in one of my mother's books. What is it? It's a ritual of friendship. With it, we'll be best friends forever. But it's magic. Isn't it dangerous? Don't be scared, Lydia. Just give me your hands and repeat after me. I, Celeste, 
Swear to remember Lydia forever and to never break our bond of friendship, even if distance separates us. Your turn now. I, Lydia, swear to, uh, swear to remember Celeste forever and to, to never break our bond of friendship, even if distance separates us. With this gift, from my heart to yours, I show my everlasting friendship to you. May it help you to never forget me. What are you doing? I can't accept that. Your mom gave it to you. Yes, you can. This is my gift to you. Oh, I know what I will give you. With this gift from, from my heart to yours, I show my eternal friendship. May it help you to never forget me. But Lydia, it's been with you ever since I've known you, and it's never left your side. Are you sure you want to give it to me? Yes, I am. I'm as sure as you are sure about giving me your mom's pendant. I will never forget you, Lydia. I promise I will come join you one day. I swear. Goodbye, Lydia. I kept my promise, Celeste. Don't go. I've been looking for you. Gosh, my head. What kind of sorcery is this? Celeste? Lydia, are you all right? Zach! I, I'm fine. But why are we back in the entrance hall? We were outside in the garden when I picked up the doll. You walked all the way here and weren't answering me. It's as if you were daydreaming or lost in your thoughts. You saw her too, didn't you? Saw who? I haven't seen anyone. Liar! You saw Celeste behind this gate. You must have seen her. Huh? I think you should sit and chill out for a few minutes. No! When I fainted after I picked up the doll, I had a dream. Or maybe it was some kind of vision. Yes, more like a vision. Right. I'm sure a mage will be able to help you get rid of these visions of yours. Zach, listen to me. We must open this gate. Uh, if you say so. The school needs power if we want to get it open. I I'm starting to think something bad might have happened here. Happened to everyone except you. Come on, Lydia. Are you coming? I still don't understand why I walked all the way back to the gate after the vision I had. Maybe somebody is trying to lead me somewhere? Or preventing you from going further. It's not a vision that will stop me, Zack. Celeste should be somewhere in this academy, and I intend to find her.
stupid wolf form? I don't even look like a familiar. A familiar? What's that? It's a very special animal chosen to help a mage in his studies. Since my master, uh, Nightingale, is a teacher here, some of his students changed me into a wolf to play a trick on him. That's horrible. Yes, it is. But thanks to you, I am free. And I can't wait to catch those students. They will see what I can do. is haunted haunted what are you talking about Shh. stay quiet or they'll hear you everyone knows the school basement is filled with ghosts Zach please explain to me why a mighty dragon like you is afraid of the dark you heard that let's leave while we still can there are no ghosts now stop acting like a scaredy cat and follow me Crates must belong to Mustavio, the merchant I met at the riverside. somewhere around here. Aha! Uh -huh. The sound we're hearing is just wind coming from this opening. See, I told you this basement wasn't haunted. Are you still scared, almighty oh dragon? That's not funny. Not everyone can be as brave as you are. Hey, I'm sorry, Zack. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was just... Don't worry, Lydia. I'm used to it. Cheer up, Zack. Let's see where this passage leads to. this thing a musical pendant Celeste gave it to me a long time ago maybe you could just put it back together it's very special to me this pendant is the only thing I have left from Celeste I'm sure you can fix it or even better ask a teacher to fix it for you did you forget that the school is empty I picked up all of the pieces, so let's keep going. I'm sure the caretaker will be able to fix your pendant. Once we find him, of course. leaves. I thought plants needed sunlight to grow. I don't know, and I don't care. These plants can't tell us where to find someone, so they're useless. Let's move these tools and see what's behind that door.
Don't touch any of these weird mechanisms. Maybe you have a better idea? I sure do. Let's find the caretaker so he can fix this. Zack, you know as well as I do that he's nowhere to be found. We'll have to try and do whatever we need to so we can continue our investigations further. I did it! Look, it's working! Lydia, I doubt it's that easy. This can't be the only step. I bet you have to do more to get the power back on in the school. It might just be me, but you don't seem to be happy I fixed it. Oh, I am. I just don't want us to get our hopes up too high, that's all. Uh-huh. I wonder what these strange machines are. It looks like we found the machine room. According to legend, it was built by the very first caretaker designed to provide power to the whole academy. But there is something strange, though. In all my years at the academy, I have never heard of the machines not working. Something is wrong.
seems all the machines are working now. The Academy has power. It sure looks like it. I told you we could do it. Lydia, you are really amazing with gears and mechanisms. I bet there's no machine you can't fix. Let's just say I have some experience repairing stuff. We can get to the upper part of the academy now. I hope we find someone there. Are you sure you're allowed to go there? Of course I'm allowed to. I'm a stu... Uh, student's familiar. But earlier you said... This is no time for chit-chat, Lydia. Let's go investigate. stopping I don't feel good Zach I Father wait Yes Did you want to tell me, Celeste? Hurry up. I don't have all day. I... I miss you, Father. You never have any time to spend with me. You're always using your work as an excuse to run away. <sighs> Is that all? Don't you understand that I need you, Father? I... I love you. Don't you love me? If you need something really important, I will be in my office. And one last thing, Celeste. Grow up already. This kind of crybaby conversation doesn't suit a girl your age. Where, where am I again? Zack? I'm here, Lydia. 
damn you walk fast! I had another vision, but it was different than the first one. It wasn't one of my own memories. It felt as if I was seeing someone else's past. Well, it had something in common with the first one. It made you wander through the school mumbling, but I couldn't understand anything you said. Where did it lead us? I never came here before. It's called the Whispering Stairway. The way to the second section of the Academy is in the Guardian's Hall, just ahead. Upstairs! That's where the students were heading. What are you talking about? I saw them go upstairs in my vision. That might be where they are. What's weird, though, is that they didn't seem in a panic or any hurry. I'm pretty sure they weren't fleeing anything. If only this vision was connected to the clues we've found so far. Even Nathaniel was acting strangely, as if it wasn't really him. It was so weird. Uh, right. What I suggest is that we focus on finding someone so we can learn what really happened here. And as soon as we can, we'll ask a teacher to examine you and help us understand those visions of yours. Great. This door doesn't have a handle or even a lock. Is this even a real door? If it is, how am I supposed to get into this room? If I'm right, this door can only be opened by magic. by Zack, the familiar of Grandmaster Nightingale. Oh, no. Is there anything wrong, Zack? No, no, every everything's fine. Can I stay here? No way. You're coming with me. Are you the ones who spoke to us through the door? We are. Who are you? We are the Snow Golems, guardians of this academy. We protect it against the intruders. By order of the Vadio, only students and school staff they access the upper section of the school. But I really need to go there. The area below is empty. Candidates are not allowed to go further. Zack, say something. Tell them who you are so they open the way. Uh, I am Zack, and, um, one of the teacher's familiars. Could you please let us pass? We already answered this question. Only students and school staff, they access the upper section of the school. Are you really a teacher's familiar? Of course I am. I bet they don't recognize me because I look like a wolf. Possibly. I wonder what Nathaniel is up to. Why does he prevent people from going upstairs? What if he's stopping them from coming down? Why would he do that? To protect the students, 
Something dangerous could lurk in the lower section of the school. Don't be ridiculous. If there was such a threat, we'd have stumbled upon it already. Now, let's go somewhere else, since these guardians won't let us pass. Oh, but maybe I did find it. How can I gain access to the upper section of the academy? You will need to become a student. How do I do that? By passing the trials, like every candidate must, before they can become students of this academy. I am the protector of the trial of allegiance. open the doors to the trial rooms? Scattered in the academy stand three magical doorways. Which to open, no magical words you must say. Fully made of stone, no handles or locks do they wear. Behind the first one, a chance we will make you swear. Impossible by brute strength to break through. The second one will test the wisdom held in you. Finally opened by the student's wooden spear. The last door protects you from your worst fear. Of course, you guys have to talk in riddles. Can't you just tell me how to open them? No. The Guardians are not allowed to help the candidates. We are here to make certain that only students and school staff may pass. Zach, is this how candidates usually get accepted? No. Normally teachers take care of the trials, not the guardians. The equal number of times there are trials, you will turn your key. And on the floor you will knock firmly. Then, at the big gem, your spear you will point. Shh! Are you trying to get us killed? We know. We are still working on it. very clever of Nathaniel to block the access to the upper part of the academy. What are you insinuating about Nathaniel? Think about it. Only he may command the guardians. And now, only students and school staff can pass them. So, if everyone able to get to the upper section of the academy is already up there, who could come and foil his plans? Me? If I can find a way to pass for a student, the Guardians have to let us pass. I'm sure I can disguise myself as one of the students. It's not that simple. These are magical entities. You won't fool them with a costume. Do you have a better suggestion? We must try to get the Guardians to help us, whether they want to or not.
You can see the dinner hall from here. It looks like it's empty. It must be a nice place to have a good meal with friends. Yeah, I guess so. But it's not fair since the seats with the best view are reserved for the teachers and the director. It doesn't matter where you sit. What matters the most is the people who sit with you and share good times. Ah, whatever. I was always sitting by myself, so I would have at least enjoyed sitting there. Sitting there? Since when do dragons sit on chairs to eat? Or sit on chairs at all? Oh, it's because... Shh, listen! Oh, I heard something from down the stairs. Let's go check. Hello? Anyone there? Do you know what this key opens at? It's different than the ones we already have. I don't know. But the caretaker is the one with all the important keys in this school. Maybe he lost it. I really doubt he would ever lose any of his keys. I admit, though, that sometimes we steal them. We? Can you explain to me how and why a dragon would use keys? What? No, I meant the students steal them. Sometimes I want so hard to be like them so they'll stop teasing me that I speak like if I was one. <laughs> uh-huh. You make as much sense as the visions I had. <sighs> Can't anything be easy in this academy? This little brass key fits perfectly. Let's see if anyone is in this room. We're sorry to barge in here, but no one answered us and... Hello? Darn it. It's empty like the rest of the school. The door was locked, no one is in here, and everything seems to be in order as... As if the caretaker left to go somewhere, and knew he wouldn't come back for a while. Or come back at all. What's this old parchment? I don't know. It wasn't there the last time I came here. Why would a teacher's familiar come to the caretaker's office? I was... Delivering a message for my master. A message, eh? About what? Uh, well, my master wanted the caretaker to know that he would examine this old parchment next week. You just said it wasn't there the last time you came here. It wasn't, but I'm sure that's what my master was referring to. Right. You know what? I'll keep this parchment and discuss the matter with your master. You can't do that! Oh, why not? The caretaker will be mad if he found out you had messed with his stuff. I'm probably in trouble for the next few years anyway. Do you know how much stuff I've touched that I wasn't supposed to since I arrived? 
I don't think it can get any worse at this point. Send me back home? This note doesn't make sense. From what we see here, the caretaker wasn't in any hurry when he left. But he didn't finish writing this note. The note tells us who shut everything down, but doesn't tell us who gave the order to do so. You're right. These clues aren't really helping us. At least we know that everything was ready for your arrival. But they wanted to send me back home. Look on the bright side, Lydia. What's important right now is that we might find something that could help us open the trial room doors. Look at this beautiful staff. Huh? My name's on it. You remember the note from the caretaker that said everything was ready for your arrival? I do. You don't mean... Yeah, Lydia, this is your staff. Every candidate who comes to the Academy gets one. Take it with you. Every student has a staff like this. The students wouldn't spear. What? Zach, this is the students wouldn't spear the Guardian spoke of in their riddle. With it, I should be able to open the trial room doors. If someone catches us, I'll disavow any knowledge of this robbery. Normally I wouldn't try to open this safe. That's acting like a thief. We don't have much choice, though. Anyway, no one would ever think of accusing a teacher's familiar, so you don't have to worry about being caught. Uh... valuable that it has to be locked up in a safe. We found the caretaker's most treasured possession. According to rumor, he uses this to read the magical rune writing. If that's true, you should be able to read the map on the wall now. I can't. I understand the magical writing. This will be a big help in our research. And I can read the notebook we found. Huh. It looks like it has a recipe for a shape-shifting potion. But I think the caretaker will be furious if he finds us playing with his magical circlet. Who cares? If he finds us, this means we won't be alone anymore. And if we're not alone, we won't need the circlet, so we can just give it back to him. But for now, we can really use this. It'll let us read the pages with the instructions on how to brew the shape-shifting potion. Lydia, did you hear that? Yes, what was it? I don't know. Maybe we aren't as alone as we think. is really amazing.
Ah, beautiful, isn't it? It sure is, but why is there a statue of a dragon here? Oh, I know that. The school was built around 500 years ago. When the mages first came to this vale, it was filled with dragons. The mages weren't scared by those magnificent beasts. Instead, they decided to build their academy here. For them, the dragons were a symbol of power. It looks so real. So that's what you really look like. Huh? Oh, yeah. But I haven't grown that big yet. I'm still young. I can read what's written now. It says, Inspired by the majestic dragons, the mages who built this academy created the school ideals. The great mage Nightingale claimed wisdom to be the first ideal. Winter Owl declared the second ideal would be power. Then they both agreed magic couldn't be used without balance. Nightingale, Zack, is your master one of his heirs? My master? Oh, my master! Yes, the nightingale who built this academy was his ancestor. Do as the Guardians told you and open the trial room door. Let's hope this works. In just a few seconds, it'll be open. If I'm right, the instructions they gave us go like this. Turn your key three times, knock on the floor, and point at the gem. Whoa, awesome! It shattered the door! I am so stressed. I hate tests. Come on, Lydia. We don't have a choice if we want to thwart Nathaniel's plans. Zack, Nathaniel's not responsible for this. I'm positive he... How can you still doubt that he used the Guardians to make sure no one would come disturb him while he pursues his evil plans? Good thing for us he forgot about you, Lydia. It's clear he never thought you would pass the trial by yourself and try to stop him. Zack, enough! Nathaniel is one of the sweetest people I know, and he's my best friend's father. I'll not stand here and listen to you badmouth him. But... But nothing. I'm sure he'll explain what's happening in this school once we find him. Now, let me concentrate on this trial. The foundation of Dragonvale Academy rests on three specific values. Each student should follow the path of the founders and remain true to those values. What are they? The path that one must follow to become a great wizard is very difficult. What would you be willing to sacrifice to become one? What's happened to the mages, Nightingale, after he mastered the wizardry? I made it! 
I passed the first trial. Yeah, but there are still two more to go. Sheesh, could you be more negative? Sure. Even if you complete these trials, the Guardians might not let us pass. <sighs> what on earth have I done to deserve a cowardly and depressed dragon as a companion? A dragon? I'm just a damn wolf! And the way things are going, I doubt that's going to change anytime soon. Just be a little more patient. We're getting there. Soon we will be in the upper part of the academy, and there will be plenty of people to help you. further. Zach, you're shaking. Are you all right? I'm... I'm... I'm fine, okay? No, you're not. You're scared. What's wrong? I'm not scared. I just... I don't want to talk about it. Don't be embarrassed, Zach. Everyone is scared of something. I'm... I'm afraid of heights. A dragon scared of heights? Yeah, I'm afraid of heights, okay? I fell and broke my wing when I tried to fly the first time. Ever since that day, I just can't stand heights. Oh, Zach, that's terrible. Are you going to be able to go on? I'll try to follow you. But please, please stay away from the high places like this if you can. we found. They have information about the shape-shifting potion. From what I understand, they explain how to grow a nigilus tree and how to use the nigilus fruit as an ingredient in the potion.
Oh, great. How am I supposed to get to the balcony where the trial is? If I remember, teachers move those stairs when a candidate passes his trials. Zach, take a look at this. There's a broken window on the upper balcony. A broken window? Maybe that's the reason why everyone is missing. Hurry, Lydia! Let's get out of here! Calm down, oh mighty dragon. What you said doesn't make any sense since his room is sealed. Let's take a look around to see if we can find a way to reach the other balcony. Amazing! We just have to move these stairs so they reach the other balcony. This lever doesn't do anything. We need to brew my potion before we can go further. Mustavio. Who? The magnificent Mustavio! Zach, you know him? Everyone in the school knows him. He brings us goods from all over the world. Exactly, Wolfie! I broke my pendant earlier. Could you repair it? Let Mustavio have a look at this pendant! Hmm. It's a very rare and delicate pendant you have here! How much would you want for it? What? It's not for sale. I only want to fix it. Alright! 
but you should think about it. Now you can give you a good price for this jewelry. No. Okay, okay. Unfortunately for you, I do not have the parts needed to replace the broken one. But if you find them, I'll be happy to repair the pendant for you. With the help of a small fee, of course! All right. Thanks for taking a look. Anytime, young lady! Gustavo the Fantastico is always there for his dear customers! And did you have any luck finding my friend, the caretaker? I'm sorry, Mustavio, but he is nowhere to be found. Ay, 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 this is bad news! Let's make a deal, then! What? What kind of deal? You help Mustavio get what he needs, and he will give you something in return! What will I get if I help you? Mustavio, the generous, will give you this little figurines for the Minotaur maze! Okay. Let us suppose that I agree to help you. What exactly must I do? Brave girl! I knew Mustavio could count on you! I didn't say yes. It's very easy. You only have to go in the academy and find the little barrels of wine along with the grapes I need. You don't even have to bring them back with you. Only find where they are and tell me. How do I know these are really yours and not something you're trying to steal while there's no one around? You accuse Gustavio the Marvelous of stealing? How dare you! Hey, it's my first time here, the school is empty, and I don't know you. How do you expect me to react? Ah, you're right, young one. Uh, well, my name is printed on these grapes and barrels, so you'll know they're mine. Anything else? There is a little something left. You must find a way for Gustavio to cross the river with his wheelbarrow. You must help him, Lydia. You can't let Mustavio go bankrupt. All right, I'll see what I can do. Mustavio, I found the crates you were looking for. Good! Where are they? Here is how to reach them. Now you only need to find my wine bottle. And find a way for Mustavio to cross the river! See you later, Mustavio! Good luck to you, my customer!
Is this some kind of secret passage? Uh, I don't know, but I don't think we should open it. There must be a very good reason for it to be sealed with a magical lock. Look, things aren't going to get better if we just sit here and don't do anything. We need to investigate. If I had only done the things you wanted me to, we'd still be back in the entrance hall. Skip a beat. I... I heard something weird when the door vanished. Zack, quit it. I already told you, there are no ghosts. Where are we? I don't know. I never came here before. Why are you still whispering? We're not supposed to sneak, you know. Does anybody hear me? Be quiet. You will attract unwanted attention on us. Uh, that's what I want. The point here is for someone to find us. It's funny. Celeste's parents had a wine cave like this where we used to play when we were young. Mustavio asked me to find some barrels with his tag on it. It must be these ones. Good for them. And now that we know it's empty, we can leave this place. Is everything okay? No. There is something weird in this forest. A dangerous... Zack, please don't leave. What? Celeste, what a wonderful surprise. I'm sorry to wake you up. But I'm so excited, I couldn't wait to tell you what I found. Look! That's a pretty painting of you, Celeste. It looks so realistic. No, you don't understand. It's not me. It's a portrait of my mother. Uh, oh! Well... If she were here, I'm sure you two would be mistaken for sisters. I know. It's incredible how much we look alike. There's one thing I don't understand, though. 
What is it, my dear? You seem troubled. Since I look just like my mother, why doesn't my father love me like he loved her? I've lived hundreds of years, Celeste, and human nature is still a mystery to me. I'm so sorry, Celeste. If you need anything, I will always be there. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia. But nothing will ever replace my mother. Poor Celeste, nothing I said would comfort you on that sad day. Your father and I are still there, Celeste. Get up, Celeste. It's time to go. Crying won't do any good. Gosh, I'll never get used to those visions. Hey, Zach, guess what? I saw my best friend, Celeste, and she was my age this time. She looked so... Zach? Zach, where are you? Well, that's just great. The only person... Animal! Whatever. The only one I found had to vanish while I was having a vision. Where has he gone now? And why am I in this glade? Zach? Where are you? Lydia! Is, is it you? Zach! I thought you had abandoned me. I didn't abandon you, but I couldn't go further. Why? You seem to be afraid of something once again. This place is forbidden. Please, promise me you'll never go back. There is an eerie malicious creature living there. And if you linger here, it could wake up. It's dangerous. Zach, there was nothing special in the gate. Jeez, I never thought dragons could be scared by so many things. I'm not scared. I'm just careful. you 
I found the wine barrels you wanted, Mustavio. Perfect! How can I reach them? First, you go in. Splendid! You saved Mustavio's life! Here! As I promised, take these figurines as your reward! See you later, Mustavio. Good luck to you, my customer! You won? What is it? I can't see. This looks exactly like the Nigel to see that's drawn in one of the ripped pages. Awesome! We'll be able to grow a Nigelus tree and get the fruit we need. Uh, Zack. What? I don't want to disappoint you, but it takes years before a tree is ready to bear fruit. That's why we must use magic to make it grow. Read that page. Let's go see if we can find a place that has enough room for the tree to grow. Hmm. How does he know what's on those pages if he can't read the magical language?
This is the spot to grow the Nigelus tree. If we're lucky, it will bear the Nigelus fruit we need for my potion. Now, put the seed you want in the soil. Anywhere near the center of the stone circle will do. All right. Okay, there we go. We still have some more steps to do before we can finish this magical plant growing process. On to the next step. You know, only teachers use this. So what? I'll be more than happy if it makes a teacher find us. Wow, that beam of light was awesome. Fantastic. But according to the notes, we're not finished with the magical plant growing process yet. According to these notes, we're almost done. It looks like the Academy's water pump. What does it do? When this machine works, it pumps water to the whole school. That way, no one has to bring buckets up from the river. Okay, let's see if I can start it. Don't waste your time playing with this thing. It won't help us find the students. Wait, you're wrong, Zach. If we activate this pump, it could attract the attention of someone who will come investigate. And when they do come to see what's going on, they'll find us.
This school is full of wonders. I hope someone notices this. If you're as gifted at magic as you are at fixing broken machines, you'll become a famous and powerful mage. Hi. You're right. There's no way I can reach them. Well, climb up the tree. Shake it. Anything but do something. We must get those fruits. Looks like you're in a hurry to drink this potion. I'm just impatient to be a dragon again, that's all. And, and help you find your friend, of course. Uh-huh. Well, we can't reach the fruit from here, that's for sure. But look, we might be able to grab one of them from that balcony up there.
What's wrong, Ooh. Zach? Shh. I thought I heard something. I feel like we are being watched. of learning magic. Nothing could stop them. But they got separated when Nightingale was sent to the Great Academy of Magic in the capital city of the realm. At that time, it was the only school of magic on the whole continent, and only nobles were allowed to study there. For years, Nightingale learned how to control every single aspect of the arcane art, and from this knowledge and hard work, he gained wisdom. But during all those years, he never forgot his friend, Winter Owl. What the heck? Why did they put a game on this door? <laughs> it's not a game. It's a magical lock. Teachers lock this door to prevent students from using the other study when this one isn't full. So they could use this door to imprison someone? Or something? Yikes! You're right! Are you sure we really want to open this door? It might be dangerous! Danger or not, we must find out. to open this door. Now the creature is loose and we're in danger. Quit it. That creature was more afraid of you than you were of it, if that's possible. No! I'm sure it's the reason why everyone is missing. Would you stop this nonsense? It was only a bird. Now let's keep moving. Hide behind me if you're too scared, oh mighty dragon. in your shape-shifting potion. Lydia, I'd like to apologize for my reaction when you threw the tree. I, I shouldn't have yelled at you like I did. It's okay, Zach. I understand you've been through a lot recently with the disappearance of your master and your transformation into a wolf. Just try to be more patient next time? I will. On 
Unfortunately, Winter Owl didn't have the social status to attend the Great Academy, but that didn't stop him. He managed to find some spell books and started to learn magic on his own, but he was never taught the wisdom of how to use it. Nonetheless, he became a powerful mage, but one who was a source of danger to his surroundings. The day his friend Nightingale came back from the capital city, Winter Owl accidentally burned his village's crop fields to the ground. Because of this incident, the two friends agreed that magic holds great power, but has to be taught with the wisdom of how to use it well. So, they decided to build another academy in Dragonvale, one which would accept anyone wishing to learn magic, no matter their social status. Celeste, can you hear me? This school is so empty. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined my first day would be like this. If only we could find someone. Don't be so sad, Lydia. You're doing great. I don't know anyone who would have made it this far. Let's keep searching, Lydia. I'm sure we'll find what happened to Celeste and the students. Another bunch of pages from the notebook. They have information about the shape-shifting potion. There is a description of the head and flower, which is a rare plant. It also explains how to use it in the magical recipe. are you referring to? Did you find someone? Unfortunately not. The customer Mustavio must serve is you, Miss Lydia. You still haven't said why you were looking for me. In the crates you helped Mustavio recover, I found replacement parts for your band dance. You did? That's awesome. But... I already told you I don't have any money to buy anything. Mustavio feels generous today. He wants to help you get through this hard first day of school. If you have the tools needed to repair the band, then Mustavio will do it for free. That is so nice of you. Mustavio the Fantastico will wait here until you bring the tools. Where do you think I can find the tools you need? I have no idea! I know the caretaker has some, but where he keeps them is beyond Gustavio's knowledge! I thought you weren't allowed to enter the school without someone to accompany you. You're right! 
I am not, but I couldn't let a customer down. If you keep this between us, no one will know it. It will be our little secret. These tools, Mustavio should be able to repair my pendant. to repair your pendant. Now just give Mustavio a few seconds. It's working! You fixed it, Mustavio. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure for Mustavio to see a happy customer. Listen, Zach, that's the lullaby I was talking about. It's beautiful. I think I heard it somewhere. Where did you hear it? Unless you heard Celeste singing the melody, you couldn't have possibly heard it before. I... I don't remember. All right. Mr. Mustavio, I swear I will let everyone know you are here when I find them. Thank you, Miss Lydia. Good luck in finding my customers. Time for me to go back to my wagon before someone catches me inside. locked and I can't find any key that fits. I'm sure I tried them all. For this door, you have to use the key that is bent a little. When it's in the lock, push a bit from the right side and it'll work. How do you know that? Huh? 
Well, I noticed the key was bent, so it's only logical. <laughs> last page we need. There aren't any more ripped spots in the notebook. They have information about the shape-shifting potion. There is a drawing of some kind of leaf, along with a description of how to use it in the recipe. Come on, Lydia. Let's just make this potion so I can finally get my dragon form back. We're still missing some of the ingredients we need, so we can't brew your potion yet. Ugh. Let's hurry and find what we need so we can finish it. To be honest, I'm not in any hurry to brew this potion. What? Why not? You can't change your mind now. Because I'm not even a student, Zack. I don't know what I'm doing, and the potion I brew could make things worse. I'm just worried about you. Huh? Hmm. I see. Maybe if we go on this little roof, we'll be able to get to the broken window in the trial room. Are you crazy? If you fell, it would kill you! I won't let you risk your life when there is another way to reach the upper section of the academy. Another way? Yes. Brew me a potion and change me back into a dragon so I can fly you up there. Wow, what a huge cauldron. It must be really heavy. Is there anything to eat in it? I'm starving. Well, unless you can survive on dust and cobwebs, you're gonna have to wait. Gah. This cauldron could be useful to brew the potion, but it's way too heavy for me to carry. Let's try to find a smaller one so I can carry it, or one closer to a fireplace. Please. You need those for your potion. Which color should I take? I have absolutely no idea. It's not written on that page we found earlier? No, it only says we need leaves from a Yulok plant. All of these leaves seem to fit the description here. Well, let's hope that one color is as good as the next.
Could this be the same tree I saw Celeste speak with in my vision? H hello, uh, can you can you hear me? I'm a friend of Celeste. Jeez, this place must really be getting to me. I keep having visions, and now I'm standing here trying to talk to a tree. Could the song from my pendant wake this tree? Oh, Celeste, my dear, it's been a long time since. Uh, oh, you're not Celeste. Who are you? I I am terribly sorry to disturb you, Sir Tree. My my name is Lydia. If my memory is correct, Silas has a friend named Lydia. Is that you? It's me. Celeste spoke of me? She often did. She described you as someone who was very important to her. As her best friend, uh, as you human will call it. Aw, she is so sweet. I am no sire. I am a tree and the keeper of the spell. My name is Elvanda. I am very pleased to meet the Lydia of whom Celeste spoke so often, but I am very curious to know how you came to find me. Rarr, if you are aware of my existence, I am now nothing but a fading memory in the heart of men. This might sound unbelievable, but I had a vision where I saw you and Celeste having a discussion. And since something really strange is going on in this academy, I decided to disturb your sleep. I was hoping you could tell me where Celeste is or why everyone seems to have vanished. I'm afraid I won't be of any help to you, my dear. The last time I spoke with Celeste was many moon cycles ago. And everything was fine. The only strange thing I noticed after her last visit was that a student peeled off a chunk of my bark and ran away. What? How can someone be so mean and hurt you like that? If I find you did it, I'll make certain they come and apologize. Well, maybe you can still help me, Alvandar, even if you don't know what happened in the academy. Do you know where I could find a hidden flower? I need one to make a potion of dragon appearance. To make a potion, you say? Why would you want to change yourself into a dragon? Oh, the potion's not for me. It's to change a wolf back into a dragon. Change your wolf into a dragon? Yes. Well, not exactly. It's a long story, and I don't have much time. Can you help me find one? Ah, young people, always in a hurry. If you promise to come back here with Celeste once you found her, I will give you the hidden flower. I swear I will. It'll be our pleasure to spend time with you. And it shall be my pleasure to hear of your adventures. So be it then. Behold the true power of nature. This flower is beautiful. Thank you so much. I'll be back with Celeste as soon as I can. I'm sorry, Alvandar, but I have to go now. See you soon. Lydia, you're back and alive! 
I heard some weird noises coming from the glade. Did you run away when the beast saw you? Better than that, I spoke with it. You what? You spoke with the creature? Yes, and it gave me the heaton flower we need for the potion. No way! That's awesome! We have all of the ingredients we need for the shape-shifting potion, along with a fireplace. The only thing missing now is a cauldron. There has to be one in this kitchen. Did you find one? It looks like we're out of luck. Ah, I can't believe we can't find a stupid cauldron. We need to drag the cauldron we found in the wine cave all the way to this fireplace if we want to brew your potion. Hey, that's exactly what we need to brew the potion. For sure it's a cauldron, but how will we bring it all the way up in the kitchen? We will have to sweat a bit. Gosh, this thing is heavy. Was it? What?
cauldron is ready to go up in the pantry. Let's go drag this cauldron from the hoist to the fireplace now. Gosh, it's about time. I was afraid I wouldn't be strong enough to drag it to this fireplace. I would have loved to help you, but this wolf body doesn't have any hands. Right. Finally! I've been waiting for this for way too long! I'll be turned into a powerful and fearsome dragon, and nobody will make fun of me anymore. You mean turned back into a dragon? I... Uh, yeah, I mean turned back into a dragon. Exactly like I was before those students turned me into a wolf. Uh-huh. Okay, what do I have to do now? Okay, boil the yulock leaves until the water takes their color. Then, add just the skin of the nigelus fruit and make sure to remove all of its pulp before dropping it in the cauldron. Finally, slowly mix the heat and flower petals into the brew and recite the following formula. Shapus infinitus hedia eulachus nigelus tenestus. Well, it looks like it should be ready. As soon as I'm a dragon, I'll be able to get back at those students who locked me up. What? I, I changed my mind. Don't drink this potion. It was a bad... idea. Zack? This potion doesn't seem to work. You're still a wolf. I are you... are you alright? Zack! Answer me! I better get some cool water to wake him up. Oh, gosh, no! Not now! My daughter. <coughs> Mother, don't talk. Keep your strength. You need all of your energy to fight the disease. We need you, Mother. I am one of the most powerful wizards on this continent. I have access to the most incredible knowledge ever known. Yet, I can't find a cure to save the one who means everything to me. For all of these years I spent acquiring this knowledge just a waste of time? <coughs> I can't... 
stand to see her suffering. Nathaniel, Celeste is <coughs> exhausted. Take her to her, <coughs> to her room. She needs some rest. No. Father, can I sleep here with Mom? Father? Father! Before Mother died, you were always there for anyone in need of help, Father. Celeste! I'm here! Answer me! But since she's gone, it seems your happiness left with her. Since that day, you never looked at me the same, Father. Why? My poor Celeste, what happened to you? Huh? One of the trial room doors? Zach, what happened during my vi- The potion! I almost forgot he fainted after drinking it! Zach, where are- Hey, hello little kitty! What are you doing alone out here? Are you lost like me? Do you know that besides my wolf companion, you're the only living creature I've seen in this academy. Talking about Zack, I better get going if I want to make sure nothing happened to him. Well, if you call being transformed into a cat nothing, then your wish has been granted. Zack! How? Oh, gosh, the potion didn't work right. No, it didn't. I'm so sorry about this. I told you I had no idea how to make a potion. Looks like I won't be able to take you to the upper part of the school after all. What are we going to do now? I don't want to stay a cat forever. We must find someone. The only way to get to the second trial is to go onto the roof and enter the trial room through the broken window. What? Are you crazy? This means walking on the school's roof. I hate to say this, Zack, but maybe we can get to the broken window of the trial room by climbing over this roof. Maybe, but none of us can. Wait, you don't mean... I do. In your cat form, you could walk there easily, I'm sure. No, no, no! I will not go on a roof and risk my life! 
then we are stuck down here. You might never be a dragon again, and some people might even be in danger, but we... Why do you always find the good arguments? How can I say no and not feel guilty now? I'll try it, and though I doubt I'll succeed. Just give me a minute to gather my courage. I'm sure you'll do great, Zack. If I fall, promise that you'll tell the others I did my best when you find them. I... I promise. I'll wait in the trial room. See you there! Don't look down, Zack. Keep looking straight ahead. Just forget there's nothing beneath you and... Birds! I should catch one! That'd be tasty! Ew! What was I thinking? This damned cat body is taking over my mind! Whoa! Awesome! A dragon! <sighs> if only I really was a dragon, I wouldn't be afraid of heights. In fact, I, I probably wouldn't be afraid of anything. This is way too high for me. I can't go on! Oh well, at least I tried. Zack, you can't let Lydia down. She did so much for you. You have to do this so we can find out what is really going on in the Academy. Come on, Zack. Be brave for once in your life. You can do this. You are... Whoa! Don't look down! Don't look down! He's been gone for a long time now. Where is he? I would feel so bad if something happened to him. Maybe he fell? Oh no, what if he fell and... Zack, that's not funny. <laughs> you should have seen your face. I know that was mean, but I really need to laugh after walking across that roof. Never do that again. I was really worried. I managed to overcome my fear of heights, but it wasn't easy, you know. But I felt like I owed you for all you did for me, so I did it. And now, let's see if we can make this bridge move.
Zack? Without you overcoming your fear, we never would have made it. Yeah, well, you tried to brew my potion, so I helped you get to the trial of wisdom. I don't owe you anything now. Huh? I didn't help you to get something in return. If this second trial is as easy as the first one, we'll be in the upper part of the academy in no time. Don't sell the dragon scales before you've killed him, Lydia. What? It's just something my grandfather used to say. Isn't it odd for a dragon to say that? For a dragon? Uh, never mind. Just concentrate on your trial. Trial of Wisdom is complete. I just hope the last one won't be too hard. I really doubt it'll be easy, because when I passed in a corridor and heard students talk about it, they all said the last trial was the hardest one. Hmm.
Well, where is this last trial? It will start any moment now. What? Zach, speak louder. I can't hear you. Oh no, I know this sound. Zach, what's going on? There's someone stuck in there. Somebody help her, please. There is no way I'm getting closer to this burning house. Hang in there, little one. Someone will... No, no, no! Why are you making me go through this again? I'll die if someone doesn't come to help me. I can't save myself. Nathaniel, where are you? Hang on, Lydia. Someone will save you soon. I can't save her. Me. Don't panic. Nathaniel will be here soon. He's the one who rescued me when I was young. And this is exactly what happened, so he will be here soon. If Nathaniel doesn't come, the house will collapse. What should I do? Nathaniel, hurry up! Where is he? How come he isn't here? That's it. I can't wait longer. Who knows what will happen if I let myself die in here? Ah! Lydia! You're back! Why did you leave me, Zack? I didn't. I was by your side all the time, but you couldn't see me. The candidate who passes this trial has to do it on his own. I'm glad to see you managed to overcome your worst fear, Lydia. Why didn't you tell me this is what would happen? And how come you know what this trial is all about? The Guardian told us, and I didn't want to make you remember it in case you changed your mind. Nothing will prevent me from finding Celeste and figuring out what is going on in this damn school. But I could have prepared myself if you had told me. I found myself back years ago when my house was on fire. But this time, Nathaniel didn't come to save me. I was all by myself. It... it's over now, Lydia. You passed the trials, so the Guardians should let us pass. Congratulations, Candidate Lydia. You have successfully completed the three trials. Keep in mind that there are no wrong decisions, only consequences of your actions. By the power invested in us, we now allow you to walk as a student and proceed to the restricted session of the Academy. Thank you, Guardians. <sighs> I was dreaming of a different welcome when I set out on this journey. Come on, let's go look for someone who will give me back my true form. And your friend Celeste. We only need to step on the teleport disc in the middle of the room to... Teleport disc? What's that? Teleportation is a magical form of transportation. We will disappear from here and magically appear in the upper part of the school. Look! Zack? Zack? I know he's lied to me, but how much? Can I trust him? What does he really want from me? Huh. Friend or foe, he is definitely not what he pretends to be. I must... Come on, Lydia! Let's go see what Nathaniel is up to. 
Zack, I already told you. Sorry. I meant let's go find out what is going on in this academy. Zach, do you see what I see? It's a ghost! Run! Ah! Now do you believe me when I say that ghosts do exist? At least, it doesn't seem to be following us. I'm sorry I doubted you, Zach. But before today, ghosts were just fairy tales to me. What if he is responsible for everyone's disappearance? We're in great danger! Hurry! Let's put as much distance between us and this ghost as possible! Of course, it would have been too easy for Celeste to be in her room. And she left no clue that could tell us where she is right now. I'm starting to believe that I will never see her again. I can't stand to keep this to myself anymore. Lydia, there is something I must tell you. The, the last time I talked to Celeste, she was really sick. Talk to her? You know Celeste? Well, not really. We only spoke to each other two or three times, and... Where is she? Uh, I don't know. Liar. I swear I don't know where she is. And I bet you don't know what's going on in this school either, huh? Zach, why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. I... Do you really think I'm that stupid? You've been lying to me since I met you. I don't know what you are exactly, but I do know you're not a teacher's familiar. I... Letting you out of that wooden case was a mistake. One that I'll fix right now. You'll stay locked in there as long as it takes you to tell me the truth about yourself and what is going on in this damn school. Promise me that you will let me out first. Then I'll explain everything. Okay, okay. I'll talk first, and then you let me out. My name is really Zack, but I'm not a teacher's from... I'm so glad that you finally found time for me, Father. This view is breathtaking, isn't it? It certainly is, my daughter. I didn't take time to enjoy your presence recently, my dear. I have something to confess, Father. But please don't be mad at me. Usually when you ask me that, Celeste, it's because you know I will get mad. So, no, I won't promise anything. All right, Father. I... I just wanted to tell you that I found a portrait of Mother in the basement. How could you? I had strictly forbidden you to touch your mother's belongings. I know, but I miss her so much. Elvandar thinks we look so alike we could have been mistaken for sisters. Is it true? Your mother is at peace where she is. Do not disturb her anymore. Now... If you'll excuse me, I have work to do. No! Don't leave yet, Father. Stay with me. 
What have I done to make him act like that? I have waited long enough. Give it to me now, Zack. Zack? Yes, Master Nathaniel. But why did you not take it yourself? Give it to me now. Finally. No one's mind will be able to hide anything from me. What are you doing, Master Nathaniel? Just like me, you never really knew my daughter. You are of no use to me anymore. Now, forget everything that happened, young Nightingale. Zack Nightingale? Where did I land again? Zack? Zack, I have some questions for you. Oh, yeah. I locked him up in Celeste's room. I better find my way back to him quickly, before he breaks anything in there. Huh? Hey, this creature looks just like the one that flew right over me when we opened the door to the study. Zack? How is this possible? I, I want to apologize to you, Lydia. I really deserve to be locked up again. You were right. I've lied to you since the first moment we met. I can't tell you how bad I feel about that, especially after everything you've done for me. Zack, please, look at me. How did you escape from Celeste's room? I started to tell you who I truly was when I heard you leave. Yes, I had another vision. I kept scratching and yelling your name, but nothing would make you come back. So, as I was trying to figure out how I could escape from the room so I could explain myself to you, I felt a presence behind me. No, you don't mean... Yes, Lydia. I came face to face with the ghost of the school. I hid under the bed. I was scared like I've never been before. After a few minutes with nothing happening, I took a peek into the room. The ghost had vanished and the door was open. So I found my courage and went looking for you. I was worried. I found you in the teleport room, using one of them to come here. So I followed. Honestly, Zack, who or what are you? Uh, I'm not a teacher's familiar. And I never was a dragon either. I'm human, just like you. Just one student among the hundreds of others living in this academy. Why did you try to convince me you were a dragon? I... You know, because of my looks, I never really had any friends in my life. It has always been like this since I was young. Kids kept laughing at me instead of trying to get to know me. Dragons are so beautiful and everyone respects them. I figured that if I could become a dragon, people would have no choice but to show me respect. So I started to work on a shape-shifting potion. So that was your notebook we found? Yes. No one forced me to drink the potion, Lydia. I did it myself. That still doesn't explain why you were locked up. 
After I drank my potion, I fell unconscious, just as I did after I drank the potion you brewed for me. When I woke up, I was locked up in the wooden case where you found me, with students laughing about what they'd just done to me. They left a few minutes after saying it was time to go somewhere, and I haven't heard or seen anyone else, other than you, since. Why didn't you tell me you knew Celeste? Because when I saw you were a new student, I hoped we would become friends, since you didn't know me yet. What does that have to do with you knowing Celeste? Everything! I knew that as soon as you found Celeste, you would forget about me. Zack. So I decided to say nothing of Celeste to keep your attention on me, hoping you might forget her. But I realize now that all those lies cost me the only chance I had to become your friend. You know, Zack, it is possible to have more than one friend at the same time. And even when Celeste and I are reunited, we can be friends. Now, can you tell me what happened in this cursed place? I honestly don't know, Lydia. It must have happened while I was locked up. Didn't you hear anything during your confinement? No, nothing. This is all so weird. Then I will need your help, my friend. We must find what happened here and try to save everyone if they are in danger. My friend? Now that sounds good. We better keep going. But from now on, no more lies. You'll tell me everything that you know that could help us in our investigation. I promise, my friend. This is where I brewed my shape-shifting potion. Hey! Let's see if we can make another one! Oh no, not until we get a valid recipe or we find out what was wrong with the first one. Now that's interesting. Zack, have you ever read this plate? Yeah, I gave it a look during my alchemy classes. It says that ingredients can be substituted when brewing potions, but it's all lies. Why? When I brewed my own potion, I couldn't find the Heden flower, so I took a piece of bark from the tree and thinking it would work because of this stupid plate. After I drank the potion, I wasn't changed into a dragon like I was supposed to. Instead, I changed into a wolf. If you would have read this all the way to the end, you would have never drank that potion. What are you talking about? It is written here, and I quote, Magical ingredients can be substituted in potions, except when brewing invisibility and shape-shifting brews. No way! Are you kidding? I'm totally serious. Darn. Well, I guess we can take this as a good sign. If we find more ingredients, we can brew potions and try until I turn back into a human. Now tell me what can be useful to know about this room, Zack. All of the teleport pads are controlled from here. Teachers can lock or unlock them using the device which is surrounding us. What must we do to unlock all of the teleport pads? That I have no clue about. Only the teachers know how this works. The only thing I can add is that the teleport pads are separated by colors, as you've probably already noticed. This allows the teachers to control where the students can or can't go.
Uh, Lydia, I think you've locked them all. Oh, jeez. You've unlocked both the blue and yellow teleport pads. Nice! You've unlocked all the teleport pads. Sweet! They have art classes in this school? Indeed. But there is more to these paintings than your eyes can see. They all have been enchanted with magical properties. Magical properties? Like what? I don't know, but if we can solve this mystery of the disappearing students and staff, we'll be learning about this subject together in the weeks to come. Huh? I only had one class in here, and the teacher didn't give us any more information than what I just told you. All we did for that entire class was to paint something. Don't touch that! What? What? Why not? Why don't you want me to touch this button? Because I pushed it once. When you do, it starts to emit an eerie light. So, that's it? No. As soon as I touched it, a teacher screamed and yelled at me as he ran to the ruin to quickly turn it off. He turned to me, his face red with anger, and cursed me to change into a frog if I was ever to touch one of these ruins again. These ruins? I only see one. There is one in each of the classrooms, and he said they were extremely dangerous. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. This is just... wow. Stop! What? Wh 
Why did you scream? I just got an idea. You must know where the principal office is, right? Of course, but why? Oh, damn my slow thinking. Nathaniel might be there. And if he isn't, we could find some clues about what is going on here. Yeah. So? So what? Where's Nathaniel's office? Oh, we have to use one of the teleport pads here and then cross a footbridge that leads to another tower. Which one? The red or the yellow? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I told you I always get lost using these teleport pads. Where does this teleport pad lead? I'm not really sure. You're not lying to me again, are you? No, I swear it's the truth. I could never find my way around the academy using these teleport pads. For some reason, I have a hard time remembering stuff. And almost every single time I used them, I ended up in a place I didn't want to go. And I had to run around the academy to reach my destination. Have you tried to use some trick to help your memory? What do you mean? Well, maybe if you associate the colors of the teleport with the rooms to which they lead, it would be easier to remember where they go. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll try that. Oh, Zach, I'm really sorry, but we have to walk on this footbridge to... It's okay, Lydia. Don't worry. Ever since I had to cross that small ledge on the roof of the academy, I have learned to control myself. I am still scared, but I'm going to be all right. Are you sure? Definitely. Anyway, this isn't the first time I've come this way. There's no one in here, Lydia. It's empty. <sighs> what are these? I can't understand the writings, even with the circlet. Can you show them to me, please? Ah, I believe this is a very old version of the magical language. Only Archmages have the knowledge to read it now. I see. These drawings remind me of something. I know. It was in my last vision. I saw you give an orb which looks exactly like the drawings on these scrolls to Nathaniel. An orb? THE orb? But you weren't there! How is that possible? What was this object, Zack? Why did Nathaniel seem to want it so much? Uh, I don't know! <sighs> I swear it's the truth! From what I understood, I was the only one who had access to it. He forced me to hand it to him! I swear I am not involved in any way with what is going on in this academy, Lydia! I didn't remember anything about this orb until you told me a few minutes ago. It just came back to me in a flash of memory. It's all right, Zach. Calm down. I believe you. Visions of Celeste, Nathaniel's odd behavior, the disappearance of everyone, and a weird orb that Nathaniel forced you to fetch? What is going on here?
Look, it's that owl again. That's not a normal owl. It's Nathaniel's familiar. What? I wish I could catch him. Maybe it could give us some insight on what's going on here. It looks like it has been following us for a while now. It must be the same owl that flew through the study door when we opened it. Let's stay alert now that we know Nathaniel is spying on us. This place looks like some sort of classroom. Sure is. Welcome to the observatory. There are so many things to look at. I would never be able to concentrate on what the teacher says with all of this stuff in the room. But I don't understand what the stars have to do with magic. The way stars and planets are aligned have some influence on the spells we cast. Casting certain spells on the wrong day could make those spells fizzle. Hence, we come here to learn the effects the planets and stars have on our daily use of magic. Sheesh, I never thought there was so much to learn. There seems to be so many things which surround us in everyday life which could be related to magic. Oh yes, they... They would have told you that magic is a lifetime occupation, if there had been someone to welcome you. But don't worry, I'm sure that soon enough you will be received in this academy the way you were supposed to be. Another of these strange rooms. What the? Ooh. Huh? Come back here, thief! What's going on? Follow that owl! He stole the caretaker's circlet! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? He went right through the wall! Hurry up! Let's try to follow it! Are you crazy? He could have set up a trap for us on the other side! There's no time to debate, Zack. Let's go. I don't see the owl anymore. I found it! Ah, good. I wouldn't have gone far without my circlet. 
Is this truly yours? The... the... the ghost! Again? Why don't you leave us alone? What's going on? Well, I don't know! It feels like we aren't going anywhere! There is no time to waste, young ones, for I am in dire need of help. Uh, who, who or what are you, exactly? I am Grandmaster Nightingale, one of the founders of this academy. But, but, but you're a, a, a ghost. It is true that my body died, but my spirit still lingers in the school I built with my very heart and soul. Don't be scared, young ones, for I would never hurt any student. My academy. I, uh, I am not a student yet. Be patient, Lydia, for in your heart you have all that it takes to become a great scholar. How do you know my name? I believe you have questions much more important. This one, and time is precious right now. You said earlier that you were in dire need of help, Master Nightingale. Can you tell me more? Every time my spirit awakens, it is because of an imbalance in the magical flux surrounding. Academy. What? You lost me. Basically, it means that some strong magic is being used, and it could be very dangerous for anyone in the area. A chest holding dangerous artifacts. That should have stayed forgotten has been opened. And if someone without the appropriate knowledge attempts to use these artifacts, the whole school can be destroyed. Oh my! Was a huge orb, Master Nightingale. How do you know this? Are you the one who broke the magical seal? Yes, but only because Nathaniel forced me to. It's true. I saw it in a vision. Is that it? Was the orb the only item removed from the chest? Answer me! Yes! I swear it's the only thing I touched! <sighs> then the situation is not as dangerous as I thought. Nonetheless, you have to retrieve this artifact and place it back where Long sack nightingale, for only you can open this chest. Wow, 
Why is Zack the only one who could open the chest containing the artifacts? Aside from a few arc ages, only a descendant of the Nightingale family has the power to open it. Are you sure it's not dangerous? I placed the magical protection on this chest myself, so I can assure you that it will bring no harm to Zack. That's why Nathaniel forced me to open it. Not because it was dangerous, but because he couldn't do it himself. What if someone else tries to open it? No one else should even consider trying it, for they would be trapped in a powerful spell. I will do my best to get the artifact back under the protection of the chest, Master Nightingale. Do you have any idea where Nathaniel, the principal of this school, is? I have not seen anyone alive in the school since I was awoken. But there are some rooms to which I do not have access. The sanctuary is one of these, and probably the only room where all the students of school staff could The sanctuary? Where is that? The gateway leading there is on the wall behind you. Are you the only one who can see it? The only thing I see is a plain wall with some part of a metal frame. You will see the portal when the protection spell is deactivated. The protection spell mechanism is a small room on top of the magical stairs, along with the chest sack opened. But we can't climb them! Sack Well, I could when Nathaniel came with me to get the orb, but it won't let me anymore. It's because the magical protection doesn't recognize you in your altar form. You will have to revert to your human appearance to be able to access this room. Do you know how we can change Zack back to human? Unfortunately, I have not used magic for centuries. Knowledge has faded from my memory, and I cannot recall the incantations anymore. You two continue your research to find spell earlier. Can you tell me more about it? The only one who can open the portal leading to the sanctuary is the Academy's principal. But there is one exception to this rule that even he doesn't have an emergency way to open it. How? The teachers have four special items that I believe are hidden in their classrooms. Once you find these items, go up the magic stairs inside the small room and place the items in the proper 
the portal that appear and grant you access to the sanctuary. How do you know all of this? Did you already forget that I built this school with my friend, Winter Hour? Do you know where the teachers hid the items we must find? For security reasons, the magical protections of these items are constantly changed. Unfortunately, that means I have no idea where they are right now. But I still can help you to deactivate the protection spells. Protection spells? Gosh, this seems so complicated. It's seriously starting to give me a headache. I will put it as simply as possible, Lydia. But it is something that is very important to remember. You might encounter what will look like a ball surrounded by two rings floating. Why did it have to happen to me? Come on, Lydia. Let's start the search for those items. Together we can find them and stop whoever is using this orb. This looks exactly like the protection ball described to us by the ghost of Master Nightingale. Let's see if the formula he gave us works. Dragonus Inverinus. What is this, Zack? <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to ask. I know. <laughs> I'm getting used to being a guide. During the first few hundred years after the school was built, this land was still unknown and wild. At every moment during day or night, a mage was standing guard here, ready to sound the alarm in case of danger. And that thing is the alarm? It looks kind of strange to me. Hey, don't go faster than the guide. This is not the alarm. It's some kind of game the mage would play to stay awake during night watch. Ah, I see. Did you ever try it? Well, I never could. It's always been locked before.
What did it do? I was about to ask you the same thing. It's only displaying a series of numbers. What am I supposed to do with this? Is this another game? Yep, just like the Minotaur maze you played earlier. This one is called the Dragon's Lair. It's the opposite of the Minotaur maze. You don't need figurines to play. The goal of the game is to bring the dragon back to his lair, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Once it reaches its cavern safely, it'll give you one of its treasures. That's where I got one of the ingredients I used for my first potion. Well, this game doesn't seem to be working for now. Darn, they probably locked it. Who? The teachers. I don't know how, but they have a way to lock the game so we can only play at specific times. This is to help students who tend to forget their studies, like me, to focus on their schoolwork. <laughs> I want some dirty old boots. That's not the type of prize I was expecting at all. These are Alunga roots. So? I never really listened in herbalism class, but we learned last week that these are often used in potion making. Really? Then let's see if we can use them to brew a potion that will turn you back into a human. a way to change you back to human. Oh, that's not what's bothering me. What is it then? These quarters have always been so alive. But now it's all so quiet. Too quiet. It's totally deserted. What could make them all vanish overnight? I never had any friends in the school, but I am extremely worried about what happened to the students and teachers. Me too, Zack. I'm worried.
This classroom is for teaching some sort of nature-related subject, am I right? Yep, we are in the herbalism classroom. Students learn how plants can be used in a multitude of magical experimentations here. Zach, do you understand what this is? Uh, not really, no. Master Nightingale said the teachers are hiding the items in their classrooms. This room must be connected to the items in some kind of way. Oh, that would explain why the teachers don't want anyone to touch those ruins. You're a genius! Another of these strange rooms. Am I wrong, or are we in some kind of workshop? It is. This is the forge. Here we learn how to craft magic items. We also learn about the different effects of the materials we use in crafting items. All of the forges are burning during class, and it gets really hot in here. Another of these strange rooms. What are these up there? No one knows. We asked the teacher about it, but he always dodged the question, saying we wouldn't need to know about those for years. I heard some students say they were designed to craft extremely powerful magic items, but I doubt that rumor is true. Too bad there's no way for us to reach them and take a look. small islands float. Almost everything in the upper section of the academy was built using magic. What is this place? This place is called the Oracle. Legend says there are remnants of a dragon on the last island. The way to get to it is hard, but when you do, it's possible that something mystic will occur. Like what? Can you give me more details? It's a bit foggy in my memory. If I remember correctly, the remnants of the dragon, which is called the Oracle, might contact you if you seek his help. Is there any truth in this myth? I never came here because of my fear of heights, so I have no clue. But some students claim they spoke with the Oracle. Who knows, maybe he could help us understand what's going on here. If someone needs help in this veil, it's us. I believe these weird giant stones are related to the secret way that leads to the Oracle. Inverinus? Inverinus. Thank you. 
my gosh! That is by far the most amazing thing I've ever seen in this school. The legend about the dragon's remains was true. Do you think the part of the legend about the remains helping students in need is true as well? Well, I don't know, but I hope the oracle can help me turn into a dragon. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? I... look! After you wished to turn into a dragon, this big piece of moss appeared in my hand. Maybe this is what I needed to complete the dragon potion recipe. What do you think? Lydia? I wish to be reunited with Celeste. Aw, <sighs> uh, hang on, Lydia. I'll do my best to make your wish come true. Another potion, Lydia. All right, let's see what we can do. Zach, you're a dragon. We did it. Yeah. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you for helping me, Lydia. It's the first time someone cared for me, and it feels nice. Looks like you just had a brilliant idea or something. I did. With this dragon form, you could fly up and check out the weird braziers we saw up on the wall of the forge. Hey, you're right!
That door led to a space no bigger than a closet, and we ended up in this gigantic room. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see your face when you found this library. It's priceless. But where... how... Take time to catch your breath, and I'll explain where we are. As you already noticed, this room is magical. Because the mages had so many books of knowledge, and knew they would keep gathering more and more of them every day, they came to the conclusion that a normal library wouldn't be enough. So, they decided to build a magical room with an unlimited capacity, since it doesn't really exist. What do you mean, doesn't exist? This room seems real enough to me. I don't know how it was made. I only know that because of magic, they can fit this gigantic room behind that door we entered on the small balcony. I can't wait to have a teacher explain this to me, because even with your explanation, it still doesn't make much sense. Wow, this ball looks special. What exactly is it? No one knows. It's one of the secrets of the library. These balls have always been here. They glow, but we can't remove them. Whenever we ask the teachers, they tell us it's just a pretty ornament. Of course, I never believed them, but never managed to pierce the secret of these balls to prove them wrong. I believe this school will keep me entertained for years with all the mystery it holds. Look, I managed to take it. Awesome, but it looks like it hasn't done anything. I'm sure there's something we can do with these balls. What is this weird thing? I have no clue. I didn't even know this could open. Sweet! The ball fits perfectly. Hey, look! You made part of the wall disappear! Whoa! A secret section of the library! Another of these magical balls. Another of these magical balls.
Wow, look at this gorgeous tapestry. I wonder what this weird diagram is. Look, another gorgeous tapestry. I wonder what this weird diagram is. Look, another gorgeous tapestry. I wonder what this weird diagram is.
section of the library. I wonder how many more secret sections there are. Another of these magical balls. Look, another gorgeous tapestry. The writing on it seems to be some kind of riddle.
Zack, have you ever heard the tale of the shooting stars? Hmm, no, I don't think so. In my village, many legends were told by the elders about the stars and the moon. But this is the one that struck me the most. The tale relates that if you look at the sky the same night someone dear to you died, you'll see a shooting star. If you stare at it until it stops moving, you'll see a big flash of light and then a new star will glow brightly at the location where it stopped. When this happens, you'll understand that the soul of the person you lost found peace. Then, every time those who know where to find it look at this star, they will be filled with hope, comfort, and peace of mind. Nice! That's an awesome tale! Do you believe there's any truth to it? I can't swear to you that it's true, but I do believe in it. When I will lose someone dear to me, I want to know they found peace and are looking down on me until my time comes to join them. Try this! I'm sure you'll like it! What does it do? Oh, come on! Just try it! It's not dangerous! I don't want to spoil the surprise! Oh my gosh! This is the largest spyglass I've ever seen! <laughs> it's not a spyglass, it's a telescope! What's the difference? Well, it serves the same purpose of looking into the distance, but this one lets you see all the way to the stars. No way! I'll have to remember to come check it out at night! Oh, you can check it right now. It's a magical telescope. Sweet! I always love to spend hours staring at the stars on summer nights. Now, where can the item we're looking for be hidden? What is that strange container? See? I was right when I said this was probably hiding something. Look, there is some kind of stone full of holes floating inside of it. This is a meteorite. They showed us one last week, but it was much smaller. What's a meteorite? It's some part of a shooting star that has landed on Earth. It sounds magical enough to me to be one of the four items we're looking for. Thank you. 
Zach, look at that. It's such a nice piece of work. I love stuff like that. It must have taken weeks to make. I really doubt it. This boat in a bottle is magical. Rumor says that a treasure is hidden inside of it and can, of course, only be gotten with magic. Does the rumor say how to get inside this small bottle? I can only fit my smallest finger inside the neck. It says that if you touch the bottle and pronounce the proper words, you'll shrink and end up on the boat. Well, this is a rumor I have a hard time believing, even if this bottle is magical. Whoa! What's going on? We're in the bottle, Lydia! Wow! Looks like the rumor was true after all. Is it me, or is everything around here strange-looking? It's not you, Lydia. Everything inside is blurry. How can we go from a boat to a mountaintop? Zack? Zack? Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. on some kind of mountaintop surrounded by stairways. Me too! After a lot of running around, I took one of the stairways and ended up here. This place looks like Nathaniel's office, but I think we're still inside the bottle. out of there my eyes hurt it looks like whatever we did in the bottle office didn't affect this place a portrait of Celeste what show me this isn't a portrait of Celeste it's the painting of a huge dragon sitting on a mountain ledge. Weird. We don't seem to see the same thing at all. What is this thing? Whoa! What's going on? Lydia, what have you done? 
Look! A secret teleport disk! Awesome! A secret room! It looks like some sort of hidden study. Look at all those roots! I don't even think we're still in the school. Dragonus Inverinus. I don't understand. This one is not working. Maybe it's too old and the magic is not active anymore. I don't know, but I'll ask the ghost of Grandmaster Nightingale the next time I see him. Whoa, look at the dust on this desk. Only this note seems to have been written recently. Lydia? What's wrong? It's this note. It's... I can't believe it. What does it say? Tell me! You're making me nervous! The part that caught my eye is this. Celeste, I am sorry for what I am about to do, but I see no other options. Who wrote it? It's not signed, but who else besides Nathaniel could have access to this place? I'm very worried now. What was it he was about to do that needed Celeste to forgive him? Lydia, be strong. Celeste and most probably the rest of the students still need us to figure out what is going on here. Yes, I'm sorry about that. Let's keep going. What a strange library! All the books are transparent, can't be touched. It's as if they weren't real. It's a ghost library! Well, as strange as it sounds, you seem to be right. Maybe the ghost of Grandmaster Nightingale can tell us more. Did you manage to find the items you need to open the way leading into the sanctuary? I've only found one so far. You will need to hurry up, young one. Time is against us. Can't you tell me what the stolen orb's powers are? I found these papers with the orb drawn in them, but I can't read the text. I will take these, Lydia. They are far too dangerous to be left in the hands of a student. And I am sorry. But I really cannot let you know the secrets of this war. Have you found a way to change Zack back to his human form? 
Not yet, unfortunately. I am still trying to remember where my grimoire with that formula is hidden. Okay. Well, if I ever come by one of your grimoires, I'll make certain to let you know. I just remembered something about the paintings in this place. Nathaniel came here after my class last week. What was he doing? Well, I saw him speak with a teacher, but I didn't hear what they said. A few minutes later, the teacher left the classroom, leaving Nathaniel alone in here. I guess he came here to paint the picture we found in his office, since you saw Celeste in it. What the? Hey look, the picture I was painting is still here. I know it's not the best landscape ever, but... What are you talking about? This canvas is blank. It's not blank. You can clearly see the area around the school in a sunset that's not quite finished. Weird. It's just like the painting we found in Nathaniel's office. Awesome! Huh? One of these paintings must hide the item we're looking for. Check them all. There might be a secret safe hidden behind one of them. It's another one of these weird containers. There's a strange dust cloud in this one. It's like it has a will of its own. Hey, there's some writing under this container. What does it say? Can you read it? It says, In memory of those who sacrificed themselves in the cause of research into the magical ways of teleportation. May this dust representing their souls help us to never forget them. Do you know what this is about, Zach? No, I never heard this story before. But this must be one of the four items we need to gather.
This was my favorite class. You look so sad. Why? Well, I was aiming for something a little bigger when I first wanted to change into a dragon. You might be tiny, but you're still a dragon now. I know, and I'm happy that we finally found the good recipe. But. But what? What's bothering you? Well, thanks to you, Lydia, I finally understand that I don't need to be someone else to be respected and appreciated. I can be myself and still have friends who care for me. It might sound odd, but I would really like to turn back to my real self, a human. Oh, I see. I understand that. Don't worry. We'll brew you a potion that will change you back to the real Zack Nightingale. There is one big problem, though. What's that? When I was researching how to become a dragon, I checked each of the books from the library one by one, and and what? I never found any recipe to make a potion that would change me back to human. What? You drank a potion without a clue of what it might do, knowing all the while that it might be impossible to ever change you back into a human. I didn't care about being human anymore. Oh my! Do you want me to go up and check them out? Sure, Zach. Go check it out, but be careful. What that magical light is for? I guess this device will light the forge if I touch it. Uh, yes and no. You do use the device in front of each forge to light them, but you have to follow an exact sequence of steps, or else they remain closed. This is another security measure to prevent students from using the classroom when they shouldn't. That must come in handy when they have students like you. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Oh come on! You know I'm just kidding. Can any of these weird magical devices help to lead us to the item we're looking for? Which one should we try? If I hit an item in this room, I'd put it somewhere near the brazier on the eastern wall. I don't understand. It's not working.
said, it's another one of these weird containers. Damn! This lantern can't be the item we're looking for. Wait, this is not a normal lantern, Zack. What's so special about it? It produces no heat. Look, I can put my hand in the fire and it's not burning me. Oh, awesome! It must be one of the items described by the ghost of Master Nightingale. Lydia, what's wrong? All of this fire reminds me of when my house burned down and when Nathaniel saved my life. He was always so kind. But now, all the clues we have seem to show that he's responsible for what's going on in the Academy. I don't understand. I don't feel good, Zack. I... <coughs> Since the day I left Lydia, you have been my confidence, little doll. You know everything, even what I've been through with my father. <coughs> this disease is draining all of my strength. <coughs> At least Lydia should be here any day now. Thanks to you, it's like she's been with me all these years. <coughs> father, where were you? I haven't seen you in days. Celeste, I... Please, come sit by my side and... <laughs> tell me stories. You know, like when I was young and Mother and I would sit by the fireplace and listen to you for hours. Father? Father! The last time I saw him smile was before Mother became sick. He was so different back then, but it seems this father I love vanished with my mother. Now I know how orphans must feel. Lydia, where are you? <laughs> I could use your arms. Nathaniel, what happened? First, Ilana, and now, my beautiful daughter. Hang on, Nathaniel. I'm sure we will find a way to cure her together. Why? What have I done to deserve this? Where is Celeste? Answer me! Zack! I'm here, Lydia. I'm really sorry. I couldn't warn you this time. The vision struck me suddenly. It's all right, Lydia. Everything is fine now. No, it's not. Celeste was really sick in my vision. And Nathaniel. I... I don't feel good. Let's rest for a few minutes. Take a deep breath and... No, we don't have a minute to lose. I fear the worst. These visions are guiding us. I know now. If they brought us back here, it's because we have to get into the sanctuary as soon as possible. So let's do it.
Have you found a way to change Zack back to his human form? Yes. I remember that my grimoire with that formula is in my secret library. But it's protected by a password, and I am not sure if I remember it exactly. I found a strange library in a secret room where the books were all ghostly. Do you have any idea what it is? All the books had a visible shape, but could not be touched. Exactly. It's my ethereal library. That's where my grimoire has to be. Awesome. But how can I get the spell book if I can't touch it? This library was built to prevent anyone who did not have the secret password from accessing. My knowledge, but I am not sure if I remember the password exactly. Come on, you have to remember the password. It's vital. I know. Just give me a few minutes. It is a hundred years lost in my memory, and that are notorious. Notorious Noritam. Yes, that's it. Notorious Noritam. Awesome! I will be back with your spellbook as soon as possible. Seeing if the new formula we got from Grandmaster Nightingale works. Nitarius, Anno Ritum. It worked! Now let's check if we can take books from the library.
the Grandmaster Nightingale's spell book. <sighs> this book must hold some of the most powerful spells ever known. Maybe, but I won't read it. Grandmaster Nightingale warned us not to open it, and I'll obey him. Oh, don't get me wrong. Even as curious as I am, I would never dare take a look at it. Let's hurry and bring it back to the ghost of your ancestor, so he can give us the formula we need to change you back into a human. these strange root-covered bowls. This is used to teach the students some specific stuff about herbalism. How does it work? I honestly don't know. I was never very fond of herbalism, so I wasn't really paying attention during class. The only thing I remember is that when the teacher touched a bowl, some flowers would grow. Hey, these bowls of flowers must be related to the items we're looking for. What makes you believe this? Well, it's not much of a hint, but teachers would never let the students touch them.
I wonder what this gigantic ball is. can change so that it's like another season inside. It's a property of the herbalism classroom. That way we can have access to every type of plant no matter what season it is outside of the school. God, it's so cold in here. I, I hate winter. We better not linger here too long. The cold makes me feel really sleepy. Poor Zack. Dragons must hibernate during the winter. This place reminds me of some memories of stuff you should know. What is it? I already told you that I barely know Celeste, but this is the same classroom where we met and spoke a few times. She seemed to have a huge passion for anything and everything related to herbalism. It doesn't surprise me. Celeste's love for plants comes from her mother, Ilana. She was an herbalist and the best healer our hometown ever had. Alana always considered others' interests before her own. Gosh, I hate the school. Not knowing if Celeste is safe or not is driving me nuts. Uh, as you said earlier, Lydia, um, everything's gonna be all right. It's another one of these weird containers. There's a huge pearl hovering inside of this one. It's surely another of the items we need to gather.
I have your spell book, Master Nightingale. Well done, Lydia. Now hand it to me along with your old spell book. Uh, I don't have my own spell book yet. Hand him mine, Lydia. Okay, Zack. Now, where is this formula? Ah, there it is. You must use some specific hearts taken from all the forms you changed into. Here, I transcribed it quickly into your spell book, Zack. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master Nightingale. I swear I will do honor to the name Nightingale and bring this orb back where it belongs. I have faith in you, young Nightingale. Nathaniel's familiar. Stay here. I'll go catch him. He won't escape so easily this time. Zack, be careful. Good job, Zack. We might finally find out what is going on around here. Now, let's see what you have to say, Mr. Spy. And don't even think about flying because I would catch you in no time. Are you really Nathaniel's familiar like my friend Zack thinks you are? Yes, our Nathaniel familiar. See, I told you I wasn't wrong. Do you know who Celeste is? Yes, I will know. Celeste, Nathaniel's daughter. Where is Nathaniel? Nathaniel, stand sacred room. Sacred room? Where is that? Sacred room? In mountains. Are you lying to me? No. Sacred room in mountains. <sighs> Zach, do you know what he means? The sacred room. I'm pretty sure it's the same room my ancestor's ghost called Sanctuary. And the only way to access this place is the magical portal we're trying to open, huh? I'm afraid so. During all the years I've been in the school, we never went in the Sanctuary. And do you know where Celeste is? Yes! Owl knows! Then tell me! Sacred Room! Sheesh! Is Sacred Room the only words you know? No. Huh. Why were you spying on us? I will follow Nathaniel orders. I will protect school from outsiders. Why? 
Owl don't know. Owl don't like them. But Owl follow order of Master. And that's why you stole my circlet. No. Owl tried to stop strangers. Danger in sacred room. Well, you can't stop us. We'll find out what's going on around here. Tell us what Nathaniel is up to. Owl don't know. But Owl scared by Master's behavior. What do you mean your Master's behavior scares you? Tell me more. All students and teachers in Sacred Room. And they fly. What do you mean they fly? Not touching the floor. Everyone in Sacred Room fly. This doesn't make sense. Why did he gather everyone in the Sacred Room? Owl don't know why. Master sad and angry. Master give Owl bad order. Do you happen to know where all of the scholars are? Owl don't know, scholars. You don't know what a scholar is? No. It means students, teachers, people who live in this school. Do you know where they are? Owl knows. Scholars in sacred room. How can we access the sacred room? Fly high in mountains. I can't fly. Dragon can fly. He can go. Yes, but I have to go too. How did Nathaniel access it? Nathaniel, travel with magic. Oh, great. Now that helps me. Don't worry, Lydia. We'll open the portal. Is there anyone else besides me in this school that is not in the sacred room? No. Everyone stand. Sacred room. You leave now. Go back home. Don't count on that. Danger for you in sacred room. I'll take my chances. Owl warned you. Owl scared by master's behavior. It seems you only follow Nathaniel's orders because you were forced to. You're now free to go back to your master. You have my word that we won't chase you down or hurt you. Thank you. Owl will go back to master, even if scared. However, you will tell your master that he must stop what he's doing and come find us to explain everything. Looks like I was right when I accused Nathaniel of being behind what is going on. Unfortunately, you were. I didn't want to believe it because the Nathaniel I knew would never have done anything wrong. Well, we still don't know what exactly is going on, so let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe he just called a meeting with everyone because something is threatening the school. Do you believe what you just said, or are you just trying to cheer me up? Who knows? I might be right. I hope you are, Zack, but I have a bad feeling about this, especially with what the visions have shown me. Come here, Zack. I'll cut one of your claws. Ouch! Oops. Did I cut it too high? Yes! I'm so sorry. I'm not used to doing this. Let's brew another potion, Lydia. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, Zack, open your mouth and don't move. I'll gather some dribble. 
Stop moving. It's all dropping on me. Sorry, Lydia. It tickles. Let's brew another potion, Lydia. All right. Let's see what we can do. Here, let me scratch you. No, don't stop. I can stay like this for hours. We don't have hours to waste doing this, Zack. It was only to collect some of your hair so we can change you back to your human form. I know, but still... Brew another potion, Lydia. All right, let's see what we can do. You did it, Lydia. That's it's thank you so much. That's what friends are for, Zach. It feels so good to be myself again, and for the first time in my life, I'm happy to be me. I'm glad I could help you be happy with yourself. I swear I will never let you down when you are in need of help. Let's get going so we can find Celeste and you two can finally be reunited. Yes. Wait for me here, Lydia. I'll be back as soon as possible. Hmm, this seems to be some kind of riddle. From the highest sky to the bottom of the sea, mankind manages to bend the elements to its will. there but it looks like we're not quite done yet it seems some more security measures were added since my ancestor built it hmm. 
Looks like I'll have to work a bit more if I want to get to this sanctuary. Someone is using the orb, it could be dangerous for us. You should stay here while I go. No way. We are in this together, Lydia. Everyone seems to be here. Hello? Hello? This silence is so unnerving. Why aren't they answering? Hey, wake up! Hello? They seem to be sleeping, but I can't wake them. No! Please, no! Lydia, wait! Please, God, don't let it be! Beloved Celeste! It can't be too late to say goodbye! It's not fair! Nathaniel! What happened to Celeste? What have you done to the students? Answer me! Lydia, no! Don't touch... him! Is this another one of your tricks, Nathaniel? It is not me, but the power of the orb that trapped you here. I was hoping you would go back to your village when you noticed the school was closed. But it seems like your curiosity is going to prove useful to me after all. Useful for what? What is going on here? Calm down, Lydia. There is nothing wrong going on here. Nothing wrong? Are you out of your mind? Celeste is dead, and all of the students are... Sleeping like babies. They are not even conscious of what is happening to them right now. You see, this wonderful orb was designed to read people's minds and gather their memories. Unfortunately for me, it seems that none of these students have good memories of my daughter or have the chance to get to know her. Not like you, Lydia. You always remained her best friend, even after all these years away from each other. These students surely know her more than you do. How could you abandon her? I have always been there for Celeste. Liar! Let me prove you wrong! Celeste, I... Please, come sit by my side and... <laughs> tell me stories. You know, like when I was young and Mother and I would sit by the fireplace and listen to you for hours? Father? Father? <laughs> How is this possible? You weren't there when this happened. 
It seems you are holding exactly what I seek. I'm happy you were clever enough to make your way up here, Lydia. I couldn't care less what you do to me, Nathaniel, but I'll make you regret how you treated Celeste all these years. You will... How can you ruin the funeral of your own daughter? How could you sink so low and betray the school ideals you embraced? I never betrayed the school's ideals. Oh, no? Give it to me now. Finally, no one's mind will be able to hide anything from me. What are you doing, Master Nathaniel? Just like me. You never really knew my daughter. You are of no use to me anymore. Now, forget everything that happened, young Nightingale. Wisdom? Power? Balance? You dumped wisdom and balance for power, Nathaniel. Nonsense! Celeste would be so embarrassed to be your daughter right now. Shut up. My daughter daughter didn't care about me. What? Don't you understand that I need you, Father? I... I love you. Don't you love me? If you need something really important, I will be in my office. And one last thing, Celeste. Grow up already. This kind of crybaby conversation doesn't suit a girl your age. Your daughter never stopped loving you, Nathaniel. You're the one who grew away from her. But Nathaniel standing in front of me today is nothing more than the shadow of the man who saved my life when my house was on fire. Lies! I have always been the same. Celeste is the one who changed after the passing of her mother, not me. That's not how she felt at all. Before Mother died, you were always there for anyone in need of help, Father. Celeste! I'm here! Answer me! But since she's gone, it seems your happiness left with her. Since that day, you never look at me the same, Father. Why? Lies. I haven't changed. She was the one living in the past, always thinking and talking about her mother, of how life was good when she was still with us. After Alana passed away, Celeste was never happy again. That's not true, Nathaniel. She was unhappy with the void you created by being distant. Not by the void her mother's death left. She had happy moments with everyone around her, except you. Celeste, what a wonderful surprise! I'm sorry to wake you up, but I'm so excited I couldn't wait to tell you what I found. Look!
That's a pretty painting of you, Celeste. It looks so realistic. No, you don't understand. It's not me. It's a portrait of my mother. Uh, oh! Well, if she were here, I'm sure you two would be mistaken for sisters. My daughter, what have I done? I was so blind with the pain of Alana's loss that it made me lose my daughter years ago. And now, the same pain from Celeste's loss led me to make the mistake of using this orb on the students to gather their memories of my daughter. I have been searching through their minds for hours, but none of the memories I found could satisfy me. I was hoping it would bring Celeste back in some way, or at least prevent me from feeling guilty for how I treated her all of these years. You know what, Lydia? You were right when you said I never knew my daughter. Celeste's best quality always has been to let other people's happiness come before her own. With this gift, from my heart to yours, I show my everlasting friendship to you. May it help you to never forget me. What are you doing? I can't accept that. Your mom gave it to you. Yes, you can. This is my gift to you. Oh, I know what I will give you. You haven't been a good father since Atlanta passed away, Nathaniel. But Celeste's death wasn't of your making. The first thing you should do to honor her memory should be to free the students and school staff from the spell holding them here. Yes, yes, I'll do that. How can I live now that I have lost them both? How can I go on without Celeste? Celeste? How is this possible? <coughs> it seems Lydia won't get to the Academy quickly enough to see me one last time. And I doubt I'll see my father either. I always thought that at least one of them would be by my side in the end. <coughs> we are here, Celeste. What saddens me the most is... <coughs> is that I can't tell my father that I finally understand him. What? I know how he tried to keep away everything that would remind him of Mother. Even me. It was the only way he could handle his grief. But you know what? I can't be mad at him, since I did the same thing. I tried to block all the memories I had of her, hoping it would stop the pain I felt. But it's impossible. All the time I focused on forgetting her only made it worse. So I decided to try the opposite, and cherish every single moment we shared. This way of dealing with the pain transformed my tears into smiles, and even though I would never hear my mother's voice again, I was finally at peace with her departure. You know, my little friend, even if my father wasn't there these last years, I never stopped loving him. I never stopped loving you either, my dear, although it's a bit late to realize it. Today, I think of my father the same way as I do when I think of my mother. I only remember the good times we shared. These memories will always transcend any angry feelings I had towards him. If only I had one last wish, it would be that my relatives remember me just as I remember my mother 
and cherish the good times we had together. Because as long as we remember someone, they live through us forever. Your wish has been granted, my daughter. Your wish has been granted, Celeste. Lydia, the teachers finally let you leave the sanctuary. Yes, but I have to see them again tomorrow. What will happen with Nathaniel? He swore to never use magic again and left the academy. But before he left, he asked me to come visit him from time to time to share my memories of Celeste. Gosh, this day is really taking its toll on me now that everything is over. And I still can't believe I will never see Celeste again. <laughs> I know I can't replace her, Lydia. But I'll always be there, whatever you need, and... Whoa, look! What? Look at the sky! Quick! It's a shooting star, just like the ones in the legend you told me about. You remember? The legend about the lost loved ones looking over you after they passed away. Could it be possible? Celeste's star? <laughs> <laughs>